Hello and thank you for joining me. I'm Kimberly Davis. I hope that you're well. Shocking video was released of that newly installed pedestrian bridge collapsing at Florida International University in Miami on Thursday. We have the latest on the lives that were lost. Plus, while students were walking out to protest gun laws in our country, a school worker went rummaging through their book bags, stealing cash. And Black Panther continues its reign at the box office and leads in the Saturn Award nominations. Those trending headlines and find out who else is celebrating with Clifton Powell as he turns 62. And that's all coming up next today, Friday, March 16th. We're working on top of the bridge and we have a report that are several people injured at this time. The pedestrian bridge under construction near Florida International University was supposed to enhance safety. Instead, it collapsed Thursday just months before it was supposed to open, killing at least six people and leaving investigators with the difficult task of trying to figure out what happened and why and who might be responsible. CNN's Rosa Flores has the latest. It was super loud. It sounded like the world was ending. Shocking new video obtained by the Miami Herald captures the sudden collapse of a new pedestrian bridge at Florida International University in Miami. My friend's sister called me. Uh, her brother, our, our, my childhood friend, he was crossing as the bridge was coming down and it, and it hit him. And do you know how he's doing? or? I don't know. I don't know. He was rushed to the hospital. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just so worried. Florida Senator Marco Rubio tweeting that cables that suspend the bridge had loosened and were being tightened when the structure gave way. Multiple workers were on top of the bridge and we have a report that are several people injured at this time. Authorities announcing that the frantic effort to rescue people trapped in the rubble is now a recovery operation. The cars were completely crushed under. You could see some of the front car and, and just a lot of debris everywhere. Emergency crews working desperately into the night to recover victims trapped in eight flattened vehicles, digging through debris, using search and rescue dogs to look for signs of life. We're going to all want to do our best to try to find out exactly what happened here. And if anybody's done anything wrong, we'll hold them, hold them accountable. The 950 ton bridge was designed to give students a safe way to cross the busy highway below after the death of a student last year. Being under that bridge, we were like, oh my God, this is so scary because it's way so much. But we had trust that the people who had built it, like there was no like fault or anything. The structure was just installed last Saturday when University President Mark Rosenberg touted the project. This new bridge is critical for student safety. We're thrilled that they can now have a much safer passage. The bridge was designed to withstand a Category 5 hurricane and was slated to open next year. Investigators with the Richland County Sheriff's Department say this woman, Aisha Evans, took $180 out of three backpacks that were left in a classroom at Richland Northeast. She was a custodian employee there, and deputies say school administrators and the school's resource officer were able to determine that Evans took the cash. She is now charged with three counts of petty larceny. A certain superhero movie keeps blasting past box office barriers. Here's David Daniel with the Hollywood Minute. My son, it is your time. Black Panther is earning more than millions of dollars. The Marvel movie tops the nominations for the Saturn Awards, given by the Academy of Science Fiction, Fantasy, and Horror Films. With 14 nominations, it's one ahead of Star Wars The Last Jedi. Close behind, The Shape of Water and Blade Runner 2049 each receive nine nominations. The winners will be announced in June. Where are we? Ava DuVernay sends her characters from one planet to another in A Wrinkle in Time. Now the director has two new planets in sight. She's set to direct New Gods, part of the DC Extended Universe, about two planets that exist outside of normal time and space. No word when the movie, based on the DC comics, will reach theaters. Welcome to the Rebellion, Wade. Before his latest movie, Ready Player One, hits theaters March 29th, Steven Spielberg has a trip to make to London. The filmmaker is set to receive the Legend of Our Lifetime Award at Sunday's Empire Awards. It's convenient for Spielberg. The European premiere of Ready Player One is Monday in London. Back in Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. 
On this day in 1970, singer Tammy Terrell died of a brain tumor in Philadelphia at the age of 24. Happy birthday if you're celebrating today. You share the day with rapper Flava Flav. He's 59. Actor Jerome Flynn is 55 and singer Blue Cantrell is 42. Well, that's our time for today. You've been watching What's Trending. The news continues on our ABC Columbia mobile app and at abccolumbia.com. I'm Kimberly Davis. Be kind to each other. I hope that you have a super duper weekend. Go Gamecocks. And thanks for watching. The story stunned the nation. 911, Baby Sabrina snatched from her crib, vanishing in the middle of the it night. It struck fear all over the country. Her parents under suspicion, charged with lying. You have anything you want to say? Then exonerated. I cried for over a year. Now, two decades later, could she still be alive, searching for her lost family? Now, a promising new lead. And my heart's racing. Are we closer than ever to finding out? Whatever happened to Baby Sabrina? 2020 tonight on ABC.